We're Laura and Nicholas. Two years ago, we exchanged our 9 to 5 jobs for a life on the road. After traveling full time for the last two years, we decided it was time for a new chapter, so we bought a van to convert into a tiny home on wheels. Hey guys! Welcome to a new episode of our van conversion. <laughs> we are super excited. We have been busy now for one week with converting our van into a little home on wheels. So far, everything has been going quite smooth. Not bad for a first week. Not bad for a first week, that's for sure. So our windows are in. You could see that in our last episode and our first episode. Now it's time for the flooring and the framing. So that's what we're going to start with today. And then in the next few days, we will do some installation insulation as well, both sound and heat insulation. Yeah. We also need to cut out the roof fan and the skylight. Extra holes in the van. Extra we holes in the it. van. See how far we come and now let's get to work. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're doing right now. We're placing all the wood right here to make a nice frame for the underfloor. So Laura already cut those pieces into fitting little things. It looks really nice, I must say. Thanks, babe. Good job, babe. Okay, let's start gluing that to the floor. Uh, let the games begin. Anticipating the main event. The crowd deciding lights get dim. And the show don't start until I step in. I display so proper crowd and show rock. Okay, so the framing of the floor is done. We put the underfloor back in the van and put some heavy things on it. So the glue can set. We're gonna have a little tomato soup right now because we are cold. We got a message from the owner of this place yesterday that we had to stop putting the heater on because it was going to cost him thousands of dollars. So we went from 15 degrees Celsius to, to nine, to... right? So soup it is. <laughs> for you. Thanks, babe. Because the floor is done already, we decided to come up on the roof and make the hole for the skylight. We have a big skylight yes. right above our bed, so that will let in lots of natural light. Anyway, Laura is just making the cutout now. Oh, by the way, I made it to the roof. You yes. know, guys, I'm afraid of heights, and I was, <laughs> I even was afraid to climb our own roof. She was standing. How pathetic is she that? She was standing on this for five minutes. No, and not she didn't five. Dare just come a few minutes. Yeah, but I was a bit scared. So we were about to cut the hole in the roof uh, until we realized that we didn't have an installation manual in the box for the skylight. We didn't get any screws. We didn't get Nothing. anything. So Nothing. we just got the skylight, but there is no way to fix it. So we just sent an email to the shop where we bought it. We're awaiting their reply now. So we're just happy that we did not cut a hole in the roof yet. It sucks. We were it really so into sucks. it. We were into the flow. Everything was going well. We did the floor. We were like, come on, let's do something in the roof. Let's cut some holes and then this. Okay, anyway, maybe we should do, what does it call, like the dead mats? Oh, sound insulation. sound insulation? Let's do that. So we were going to install the sound insulation. Unfortunately, we just read on the manual that it had to be installed when it's 15 degrees Celsius. Since today we cannot use the heating here, we can't install it. This what I'm a so day. Mad. We just want to do it, you know, get this conversion over with. And we're just getting kicked in the balls right now. We're just gonna go home because that feels more productive. Tomorrow we're having a little break day because we always need to include one day that we're not working on the van to edit our vlog for you guys. So we'll see you guys in two days and then hopefully we'll have our insulation, maybe our screws. See ya! To do the roof Never fan. So. See you in two days. Well, for you guys, we'll see you in a minute. Bye. Bye. Good morning, guys. Morning. We are working on the van again this yes. morning, today. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we're working on the van again. So the plan for today, we're going to cut holes in the roof to place the skylight and the fan or vent or whatever you want to call it. And, and we already went to the store today. We bought some extra wood to do the framing of the walls. We bought, let me show you. We bought this little table right here. So, so we have a better space. instead of having to work on the ground the whole time, we can now work yeah. on a sturdy table. Way better. So yeah, that's it. Let's get some holes in the roof. The moment of truth. Will it come? 
Okay, we have almost all our holes now in the van. Holes, holes, holes. Okay, so we have this one right here that we just made for the fan. And then right there, we already showed you it's for the skylight. So we just tested out the size. So we put in the, I call it the window, but whatever, it's like the fan and the skylight itself to see if it fits and it fits perfectly. So now we're treating it with entire rust. And then hopefully tomorrow we can just put them in, seal them. Screw them together. Okay, and then the only thing we still need actually is a little window where the shower is gonna come. I'm just so happy those holes are cut. Yeah, looks that good. That went so well. I think we spent, what, 20 minutes actually cutting those and four hours measuring those up. <laughs> that was the hardest part is just yeah. knowing where to put them. Yes, babe. Yay. Okay, I'm going to treat it now with paint, with anti-rust paint. Cool. Let's do it. I'm going to chill now. No. This is such an awkward Thai food. Okay. <laughs> Laura is ordering Thai food for tonight. Cause yeah, we will be a bit too tired to cook. So it's takeaway night. Yay. We are now going to do the framing for our walls. So what we're going to do is put those wooden strips on the side of our van so we can attach stuff to it, like our walls and like cabinets and Exactly. Other stuff. Laura is measuring everything up right now and cutting everything to size. And then we're gonna screw those into the metal of our van, I think. Yeah. Is that how it works? That's how it works, babe. Laura did all the research for this one, so I'm just You're pretending. I, I'm me? just I'm just pretending You're I know something me about with it. This? Yeah, I do. Okay. It's so cold, my nose is running. <laughs> okay, babe, shall we try to do like one of these so we know how it works at least? Just screw it in. Let's give it a go. So part of the framing is done. We ran out of screws. So unfortunately, this is so tight by the way. Fortunately, the shops are already closed because it is evening. So Laura and I, we're gonna call it a day and we're gonna go eat some Thai food at home. Yeah. And then tomorrow we'll be back. We also need to start doing thinking about the wiring. Yes. So we need to do some shopping for the wiring. So we might be able to do that tomorrow. So about the wiring, I don't know anything about electronics. I read a couple <laughs> blogs and we will try to do the whole electric wiring ourselves. I designed a little diagram, which I'll include here. If you guys see there's anything wrong, please let me know because I have no idea what we're doing. But we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It is a new day. Working on the van like almost every day. We just went to the store to buy some screws for our framing because we ran out of them. We got something to drill holes into the wood in an angle. Right? That That's what it sense. is. That yeah, makes sense. Is. Today we are going to place the roof fan and the skylight. So that will be in today. So that's exciting. With the horizontal framing nearly done, we are now going to do the vertical framing. So I'm gonna show you guys the problem we're having here. Well, it's not actually a problem. So because we want to have everything in one straight line, uh, we had to put a little extra piece of wood attached to this. And then to put the horizontal wooden slats and the vertical ones together, we actually made two of these very special holes and now we can just screw it into place. And right. it actually works really, really well. This is all very, very sturdy. So we'll be able to attach a lot of stuff to this. Okay, 
Okay, so now we're taking a little break from framing the walls to place our roof in and our skylight. So we're putting some sealant on the skylight right now and then we're going to place it on the roof. This needs to be finished today. The roof is a little bit uneven, so Nicholas is filling out these uneven parts. So I put the skylight on there that there are no holes where the water can go in later on. Okay, so I'm on my way to the store again because we ran out of wood to make the frames for our skylight and our fan. I feel like every day we go to the store at least once or twice. No matter how well prepared we are, we just always run out of something or something breaks. So yeah, that means another trip to the hardware store. Woohoo! Sit out at the first light. Okay, so I made it back from the store with all the new wood. Uh, now Laura, our little carpenter, is going to cut everything to the correct size. And then we'll finally have a fan in our roof. Okay guys, so we have been experiencing quite some problems with installing the fan. And so things are going more slowly than we expected. So I'm not sure if we'll finish everything today. You're doing a good job, babe. Today is really a, I'm gonna say the word, a bad day. So I told Nick- Say it, it's a shitty day. It's a shitty day. I just wanna go home. I told Nicholas I wanna go home. I wanna take a hot shower, have a glass of red wine, have dinner and just enjoy our evening because I don't think today is gonna get any better. Oh, and then hopefully tomorrow we can actually install everything because I feel like we've been saying that for a few days again. Oh, Time to eat some leftover Finally. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's a new day working on the van. Let's hope that today is going to be a better day than yesterday. So what we're doing now is we are trying to trim this little thing that needs to go on the inside of the roof fan. We literally tried everything already to cut this with a jigsaw, with it with a normal saw. We literally tried everything. So now Nicholas is trying to do it like this and that seems to work pretty well. We're just going to be happy when that fan is in because honestly those windows right here were so much easier to install than everything on the roof. is installed. Good job. Isn't that the skylight? What did I say? Roof fan. Okay, the skylight is installed. Now we're going to take off the plastic of every window to make it official. framing right now around our window so that we can have a nice wall around it because we don't really like to see this and same thing right here we don't want to see this either so we're going to place some nice plywood around it that's some steady wall right here <laughs> all right so the framing for the side window is done and I must say it looks really nice. Looks quite neat for people who never used any tools. I think we did a good job, babe. Yeah, did we? Yeah, Laura's Woo. eating again, as usual. It's 5 p.m. <laughs> we'll have dinner in like two hours, but- I'm always eating. Always eating. Always eating. <laughs> so I think we're gonna call it a day. What? Already? No? You wanna stop already? You don't? No, I wanna continue the framing. I wanna do the framing for the door. Okay, let's do it then. Managed to complete the frame of the door because we ran out of screws again. Story of our lives, always and running out of stuff. Let's go home now. See you guys tomorrow. Yay. Good night. Good morning, guys. Good morning.
it's another beautiful day and we are not working on the van today. So we waited all morning at home to hopefully get the insulation. Yeah, but that didn't happen. It didn't arrive. So we decided to make it a shopping day. So we are going to drive to Antwerp where we will buy lots of stuff and then we'll go to the hardware store and buy some more stuff. And we'll work a little on the van tomorrow instead. We found what we were looking for. So this is wood, but it is bendable. Yes. And we're going to use this to cover our wall. Yeah, we, this is really nice. Okay, let's cool, order let's it. Let's order. So now we're looking at flooring. What do you guys think? This is the one? I kind of like this. Okay, so we're in another store right now. We are searching for a bed frame right now. Well, the wood that we can use for a bed frame and the right screws and stuff like that. So that's what we're doing now. Nicholas loves to do weird dances. <laughs> Good morning! Good morning, you guys! <laughs> so yesterday, I think we did not really finish the vlog yeah. properly, yeah. So we just got back home after our shopping day. But today we're back working on the van. Still no insulation, unfortunately. We sent a message to the company and they messed up, apparently. So they're sending it again. So we have to wait for another, like, four days or something. But we can't wait that long. So we're just going to continue with the framing, do sound insulation. Just do as much as possible, actually. We're heating this whole place up till 50 15 degrees so we can put the sound insulation. Yeah, because otherwise we can't like you. Otherwise it, needs it won't to be stick. Let's get into it. It's gonna be a nice and warm day today. Yay! This window frame in our sliding door is trying to look quite good. Okay, this was going way too smooth and we just noticed that if you open the door completely, this is like... The thing is, we were supposed to put some plywood right. over it, which is seven millimeters thick. So that obviously... Won't work, won't so... Won't work, so we'll have to find a solution. We'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. This was going too smooth. Because we messed up our framing of the door a little bit, we're just going to leave it to it for a bit, and we're just going to start the sound insulation. So what I just did, I just degreased the whole surface where we're going to put the insulation. So now, Nicholas is going to cut these to the right size and then we're going to stick them to the wall. So one thing we're making sure as well is not to forget the door so we're doing the walls but also the rear doors and the sliding doors and as you can hear the difference is crazy. Crazy. Just this little thing. Insane. That. Yay! Good job, baby! Alright, so we still need to clean this up a little bit. But the sound insulation is finished. Yeah, baby. Yay, good work, babe. <laughs> so Laura and I spent the last two hours contemplating on how we were going to attach the walls to our framing. Um, I think we finally figured it out, but it's just a reminder that everything in a van conversion is just so hard because you don't have one straight wall. Everything has curves in it. It's it's just so annoying. And right now, we are going home. We're actually going to my mom's home. She invited us for dinner. Haven't seen her in a while due to COVID. So very excited for that. But we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, guys. So we're back working on the van. As you saw yesterday, we had some problems with the door. Today, we really need to find a solution for the door. So what we did is we went to buy some other wood that's actually thinner. So we'll have to take out all this again. So that's kind of sad because that work was all for nothing, but that happens. So we're going to take all that out and replace it by some thinner wood. So that way the door will be able to slide open <clears throat> very smoothly so yeah so that's the plan and then we'll just like continue with the framing installation should arrive by the end of this week so that will be for the next vlog unfortunately but yeah let's get into it <laughs> We have stripped the door from the framing and now Laura is going to cut the thinner wood that we bought and we'll do it all over again. Oh. We're still busy with the framing 
and we're freezing. It's so cold. I'm honestly wearing already six layers right now, I think. I just think we're going to run out of wood. Again. Again. But tomorrow we'll have a little shopping day. Tomorrow is our day off. We will be editing this vlog and do some of our normal work. No, it's no trouble, no me. you guys with the framing almost done almost. we're gonna call it a night and we are going to end this episode of our van conversion yeah. right here we hope it was interesting although we know with the delay on the insulation we still didn't get the insulation done, so it might have been like a little bit of the same thing all over again framing 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 felt like that for us as well in the next episode for sure we're going to insulate the van and start doing the wiring for the electrics and Plumbing as well or not? Plumbing? Hell no. I'm not ready for plumbing. I'm gonna focus on wiring and electricity first. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot if you guys would yes. do that. And like this video, give it a little thumbs up. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Bye.